Hello, we get quite a few requests regarding permissions on files and folders and things being grayed out and not changeable. Especially, this will happen generally when it's a folder that is either a system folder or a folder or file that is owned by, shall we say, another user or the trusted installer or system, etc. Okay. Um, let's take an example as we got a request for the system32, which is in the Windows directory. Okay, how do we actually change the permissions? Because over here you click change permissions, it just goes all gray and that's the end of it. Okay, the simple answer is you actually need to change the owner first to yourself. If you don't know your username, go over there. And then type in PowerShell, okay, and then run it as admin, right click, and then run as administrator, and then that'll bring up this window, and then just type exactly what we have, dollar, env, colon, username, okay, ours is Windows Ninja, okay, um, so basically there, however, this has to be very, very temporary. Done. Okay, so Windows Ninja, check names, it'll find us. Okay, now it was trusted installer before. Okay, do not, do not, shall we say, keep it as Windows Ninja or your own username. Okay, it'll cause a lot of problems because most of these system folders and files need to be in the original owner. Okay, however, for whatever reason, if there's a temporary change that needs to be done, okay, click on that, click apply, okay, it'll go through all of them, okay, and when that completes, hopefully pretty soon, Okay, that's fine. Click OK. Basically, what it says is you need to close these windows down and then you can open them up again. Okay. Now, if I want, okay, I can change permissions. I can enable inheritance, disable inheritance. It's all there. Okay. Um, let's, for example, take the trusted installer. Edit. You see? Permissions can be changed now. Okay. Now, the key thing that you must remember, okay, it's tidying up before you finish. Okay, you don't want to restart your computer with your username as owner on, especially a System32 folder. Okay, it'll cause a lot of problems. So before you shut down, okay, make sure you go back. And for the Trust Installer, it is NT space service. And then it's backslash trusted installer. It finds it. Click OK. Once again, replace owner on all the contents. Apply. OK, it'll take roughly about the same time as before. Okay, it's saying you need to restart this a little bit. Okay. And if you can see, it's back to the original way it was. Okay, change permission just goes great. Hopefully this has helped. Um, thank you for watching.